Anastasia.com. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the magic loop, seamless joints, minimizing seams when crocheting in the round, and we'll make some hats. The magic or adjustable loop is useful for crocheting circles without a hole in the middle. To start, leave about 8 inches of a tail, then simply make a very loose slip knot. I like to make slip knots like this. Do not tighten it fully. Pinch the circle with your thumb, grab your crochet hook, and get ready to crochet in it. Chain one while still pinching that circle. To practice, we'll make six single crochet stitches in the circle. As I am crocheting in the round, I am also crocheting over that tail end we started with. Once completed, grab that tail end and pull firmly to close your loop. When weaving in the ends, I like to go around a few extra times with the tail end. Let's do another practice ring, this time with half double crochet stitches. Start your loose slip knot any way you want, pinch it, chain two, then do eight half double crochet stitches in the ring. Once done, grab the tail end and pull tightly to close your circle. When finishing a circular item, books tell us to do a slip stitch, but this creates a bump along the edge. To avoid this, we're not going to do a slip stitch. Instead, cut and pull your yarn straight out after the last stitch. You now have a gap. Thread your yarn needle, then go underneath the first stitch's top area and pull your needle through. Then come back around and make a stitch in the outer loop of your last made stitch and pull. This creates a bump-free smooth circle object. I'll show you other techniques as we work on Sarah's hat. You'll need very soft worsted weight yarn and a G-hook. Because the yarn is dark, for this video I'll use a light green color. Leave a longer tail then do an adjustable loop as shown before, which is just a very loose slip knot. Insert your hook, then chain two. Do not count these two chains as a stitch. We will begin round one by doing 12 double crochet stitches in this ring. Be sure to crochet over the tail end. Once you have completed the 12 stitches, pull the tail in to tighten the ring. We now need to do a slip stitch. Ignore those beginning two chains and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet stitch we previously made. Chain two and begin round two. We're not going to use the space below the chains right now. Instead, we're going to do two double crochet stitches in the next space and continue around by doing two double crochet stitches in every stitch for a total of 24 double crochet stitches on that round. However, when you are finished with 22 stitches, you'll do your remaining two stitches right below that initial chain two. Then ignore the chain two that we did in the beginning and slip stitch over to the top of the first double crochet stitch. For round three, we'll chain two again. Do two double crochet stitches in the next space. Then do just one double crochet stitch in the next space. Then do two double crochet stitches in the next space. Then do just one double crochet stitch in the next space. Repeat this two double crochet stitches, one double crochet stitch 
all the way around. When you get to the end, make your last double crochet in the space below the chains. Then do a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. Round four and all rounds going forward start with a chain two. Do two double crochet stitches in the next space, followed by one double crochet in the next space, and one double crochet in the next space. Keep doing this pattern around. End as in previous rounds. For round five, do two double crochet stitches, followed by one double crochet stitch around. For round six, do two double crochet stitches, followed by one double crochet in the next two stitches all the way around. For round seven, do two double crochet stitches, followed by one double crochet in the next three stitches. For round eight, do two double crochet stitches, followed by one double crochet in the next four stitches. For round nine, do two double crochet stitches, followed by one double crochet in the next five stitches. It's time to measure your work. My hat thus far has some ruffles to it, which is totally normal, and it is approximately 12 inches across. For round 10, chain two. Over the next two stitches, do a double crochet two together, the alternative version. Yarn over, insert your hook in the first space, yarn over, and draw up a loop. Yarn over again, insert hook into the next space, Yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and draw through the first four loops on your hook. Yarn over again and draw through the remaining two loops on the hook. In the next stitch, just do one double crochet stitch. Continue this pattern around of a double crochet two together followed by one double crochet. There are several ways of doing a double crochet decrease, which is what this is. This alternative version produces a good result in this hat. For round 11, repeat what we did in round 10 with the double crochet two together followed by one double crochet stitch around. For round 12, chain two and do double crochet two together stitches all the way around. Once finished, do not slip stitch to the first stitch just yet. For the black band part, I'm going to use blue yarn so you can see it. Loop the blue or black yarn around your finger, pick up your work, insert your hook into the first double crochet stitch to begin a slip stitch, grab your new color yarn instead of the green, and pull it through. Hold the yarn tightly and chain one. For round 13, single crochet in the same space and then do one single crochet around in each stitch. At the end, slip stitch to the first stitch. You can make the band as thick as you like. I did five rounds of single crochet stitches for my sample hat. I then changed back to green and added a pico edging. A pico edging is a single crochet stitch in the first space, then chain one, and single crochet in the next space, then chain one, and single crochet in the next space all the way around. I also like to avoid the bump along the final edge of the hat, so I use the seamless join method we discussed in the beginning. Be sure to weave in all your ends. And then you can sew on some decorations, such as buckles or buttons. I found these buckles in the purse supply section of my local craft store. You can use gold thread or clear filament thread to make the stitches less noticeable. And now we'll work on the basic beanie type of hat. You'll need very soft worsted weight yarn and a G hook. Because the yarn is dark, for this video I'll use a light green color. Leave a longer tail. Then do an adjustable loop as shown before, which is just a very loose slip knot. Insert your hook, then chain two. Do not count these two chains as a stitch. 
We will begin round one by doing 12 double crochet stitches in this ring. Be sure to crochet over the tail end. Once you have completed the 12 stitches, pull the tail end to tighten the ring. We now need to do a slip stitch. Ignore those beginning two chains and slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet stitch we previously made. Chain two and begin round two. We're not going to use the space below the chains right now. Instead, we're going to do two double crochet stitches in the next space and continue around by doing two double crochet stitches in every stitch for a total of 24 double crochet stitches on that round. However, when you are finished with 22 stitches, you'll do your remaining two stitches right below that initial chain two. Then ignore the chain two that we did in the beginning and slip stitch over to the top of the first double crochet stitch. For round three, we'll chain two again. Do two double crochet stitches in the next space. Then do just one double crochet stitch in the next space. Then do two double crochet stitches in the next space. Then do just one double crochet stitch in the next space. Repeat this two double crochet stitches, one double crochet stitch all the way around. When you get to the end, make your last double crochet in the space below the chains. Then do a slip stitch to the top of the first double crochet. Round four and all rounds going forward start with a chain two. Do two double crochet stitches in the next space, followed by one double crochet in the next space, and one double crochet in the next space. Keep doing this pattern around. End as in previous rounds. For round five, chain two, and then do one double crochet stitch in each space around. Once completed, slip stitch to the first double crochet. You'll repeat round five again for several more times, depending upon the person you are making this hat for. To attach the black yarn, drape it over your first finger. Insert your hook into the first double crochet stitch as if to do the slip stitch but then grab the black yarn and pull it through. Do a chain two and proceed with working the round with the black yarn. You can repeat round five two times or more for the black band part. I then changed back to green and added a pico edging. A pico edging is a single crochet stitch in the first space, then chain one, and single crochet in the next space. Then chain one and single crochet in the next space all the way around. I also like to avoid the bump along the final edge of the hat. So I use the seamless join method we discussed in the beginning. Be sure to weave in all your ends. And then you can sew on some decorations, such as buckles or buttons. I hope this video has helped you and please visit Nastasia.com for more tips and tricks on creative, self-sufficient living.